five years ago, I was hired to be the Rainbow Cafe manager. While waiting for all the paperwork and background checks to go through, I was asked to come to the gala as my first official action as manager. It was a little weird because I still hadn't met any youth yet or worked a Friday night. I had only met some of the board members and I hadn't met any of the volunteers, but I was asked to give a speech. Since I knew very little about Rainbow Cafe, I talked about what was important to me and that's queer history. I talked about how we have such a rich queer history in Southern Illinois, the US and the world and how we need to make sure that history is taught to the younger generation. I said that we will also be making queer history together. In the past five years, we've made a lot of history. My first night as manager, we broke a record with attendance. From then on, we kept breaking records with over 50 youth being our top number. We've had dozens of events from summer camp to Youth Empowerment Saturdays to Halloween dances to starting our very own Pride Fest here in Southern Illinois. Our youth, volunteers, and board members have been to Springfield every year to fight for the rights of every queer person in Illinois. We worked with Equality Illinois to help pass the inclusive curriculum law. Schools are now required to include LGBTQ history in the curriculum. We also worked with Equality Illinois to get the Keeping Youth Safe and Healthy Act passed, which ensures that inclusive and age-appropriate health and sex education is taught to Illinois students. Um, we've had LGBTQ town halls here in Southern Illinois and made our voices heard. We've worked with a lot of community partners in the past five years. We worked with the Community Action Place to help provide Narcan, safer sex supplies, needles, and testing to our community. We worked with Cristados to help feed hungry youth. We worked with the Acorn Equality Fund to help serve our older population. We've worked with Carbondale Unitarian Fellowship to help youth meet socially distance when we had to close down our other in-person services. We worked with the SIU School of Medicine to do a needs assessment for Southern Illinois queer people, which is gonna bring a lot of services to the area. Isn't It Queer on WDBX has been integral in showcasing the work we do and broadcasting it to the community. We survived a flood. We lost so much when a pipe broke at Rainbow Cafe. So many of our historical documents were lost and a lot of artwork and items. However, with every cloud, there's a silver lining. With the help of the community like you, we were able to triple the size of our library and completely furnish the new updated space. We even added another room to help accommodate our higher numbers. In the past five years, we became our own 501c3. That has helped us expand our services dramatically. In 2016, we just had the Friday night drop-in for a high school youth. But now here's a list of all the programming we have. The Friday night drop-in for queer youth and allies, 13 to 17. Transitions for trans and questioning youth, 13 to 17. ARC for queer youth and allies, nine to 12. Elevate for queer youth, 18 to 25. Transformations for trans people, 18 plus. Golden Rainbows, Illinois South, for queer people, 51 plus. Unconditional, for parents and family of queer youth. And we're hoping to start a queer 21 plus group here in the near future. Unfortunately, for the last year and a half, we've all gone through a lot. We had to halt a lot of our programming. But again, a silver lining is that we were able to create a Discord server for Rainbow Cafe. The server allows us to keep everyone updated and also do things like virtual game nights, movie and music streams, and have group discussions about important issues. I've had so many people reach out in the past year across the US to ask us if we've had online programming because there was such a desperate need for queer community as we've all been stuck inside the house. We're working on increasing our social media presence and our Discord server to be able to help serve more queer people across the US and the world. With help from our community, we've been able to help LGBTQ people here in Southern Illinois thrive. I wanna thank the Muddy Roots Collective for sponsoring us this year. The amazing Liz Hunter, Jackson County Treasurer, was also a sponsor for us. The First Christian Church have been long time supporters of Rainbow Cafe. And of course, Dr. Jeffrey Kellogg, who's been supporting Rainbow Cafe financially, mentally, spiritually, and with hundreds, if not thousands of hours of labor for nearly our entire existence. It's been an interesting time for me. I became the chair of the board in the middle of a pandemic, just as we were working to reopen our services. 
But one thing that this pandemic has made clear is just how important having services like Rainbow Cafe are. We've tried with various levels of success to have virtual programming like Queer Miss and Queers Giving. We've delivered meals and cards to queer people across the Southern part of the state. This is our second virtual gala where Soil Sisters were able to deliver meals to some of you. People have reached out to thank us for being there and let us know that we have gaps in programming that we need to fill. So we're hoping to expand our services and we need more space. Now that Rainbow Cafe is 21, we need a permanent home and we need your help. We can't afford a space without a substantial down payment. So please keep bidding on those items. Keep giving us those donations. If you can set up a monthly donation, every bit helps us keep moving forward. Uh, for my birthday on Facebook, I asked for donations for Rainbow Cafe's home, come, uh, home fund and made over $800. With your support, we've been able to help make real change in the lives of queer people in Southern Illinois. And hopefully with your help, we will be able to make another 21 years of history. Thank you so much for everything you've done and everything you continue to do to help us support our mission.